my vocation story is never that of like St. Paul Strike by God while he's on the journey to Damascus and then all of a sudden have a conversion experience. I don't really have that. I always liken that situation, right, as a person who is going on a date with someone else. You might know your first date, you might know the day that you decided to engage with each other, but you will never know precisely or exactly the time that this thing happened. And for my case, it's exactly the same. God has loved me so much throughout, uh, throughout my life. And if I realize that I cannot give my life, my whole, my totality to Him and serve Him, and to serve His people through the sacraments itself, I feel that I'm not giving Him my all. And that sense starts to grow. Because of that, I have set up my mind to really follow Him as a priest. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Esto provincia, stella maris. During the period of time when I was discerning, something happened to my mom. She discovered that she has a cheese, I think, which means a lump in her breast. And that's the time that all her hopes and all her aspiration for the future start to drop. She was really afraid that she got cancer. When she more or less guessed that I would like to join the priesthood, she was really sad. She felt that she was being abandoned. Imagine that if a woman lost her husband in life and now the son is leaving, that is actually a tough choice. Which is why I don't blame her of clinging to me so hard. But I remember very vividly the new Chinese New Year that comes after that. That Chinese New Year, the whole reunion dinner, we have it in silence. Yeah, my mom was thinking a lot of things. Uh, she burned the dessert that day. And she was totally not at ease. Yeah, so it was rather, rather tough at the very beginning. So I raised this situation up to God. I say that, Lord, um, I offer this situation to you on behalf of my mom. If you cure her, I will offer my whole life to you. And surprisingly, he did. During her second checkup, when she came all, over, um, all the way here to did a checkup for her breast, that lump disappeared. And I told God, pretty much at the moment that the results came out and said, uh, and I said to him that, uh, yeah, my whole life is yours. I'm desiring to offer my life to you. I think everything start to solve and start to fall back to places pretty much after the time when I first professed my first vow. And she told the whole congregation that she already gave up of asking me to remain as a lay person to get married and have a child. Then she said that it is a road that I will never turn back. And from that day, she totally accepted uh, my choice to become a Carmelite and a priest. Of course, sometimes my mom would jokingly say that, Aya, if they don't want to accept you, uh, come back here, la. go out and get married and shoot. <laughs> I start to discover who I really am because in the past I have some wrong impression of who I was. According to St. Therese, at the very beginning of the story of the soul, she said that in this field, in the Garden of Jesus um, itself, there are many flowers. Some are roses, some are lily, but not all of them are called to be roses and lily because if all of them are be going to be dead, the whole garden is going to be very boring for Jesus. Here, I learned to be more comfortable in my own skin and I become more joyful after that because I truly know who I really am, who I am in the eyes of God and I don't care whatever people say about me in this outside world. And I think this thing really helps me. In the past, I really want to please others to be the person that they want but over here, I realized that 
this might not be the right way because that is not what God envisioned me to be. Especially my mom and especially my sister. I hope that all of you can also remain healthy and continue to serve God in your own ways and in your own means. And also my family, the Staris and Lifeliners, I'm glad that all of you decided to journey with me even up until today. How many youth group does that? You did your part and you really journey for me and we are really one great family together. And also for my brothers over here, um, in the Carmelite family, thank you also for accepting me as who I really am. My nonsense, my strength, all of you embrace it wholeheartedly. Thank you so much. Yeah.